Nearly all damage in Diablo 4 scales based on your weapon's damage, but what if you never equipped a new weapon? In this video, I'm going to try to beat Diablo 4 using my character's starting weapons only. I want to have a shot at beating the story campaign's final boss, so I decided my best bet would be to play as the Barbarian. I named my character Cactus McGee and loaded into the world. The Barbarians seem like the best character to play because they have early access to Thorns, which is a passive ability that returns damage to anything that attacks me. However, Thorns has several significant limitations. First of all, Thorns doesn't work against damage over time effects, and it's useless against anything that doesn't attack me directly, such as structures or bosses with unique attack methods. It also requires me to survive taking an absolute beating from my enemies because they only take damage if they're damaging me. I beat the first boss fight easily, but my weapons were pretty much already outdated by level 5. The weapons I was getting as loot had almost double the damage of mine, and this is of course going to get worse and worse throughout the video. Thankfully, my early game Thorns build was working extremely well. My basic attack has an upgrade that gives me thorns whenever I attack, so my enemies basically kill themselves trying to fight me. But you can clearly see that my weapon is almost worthless now. It only does like 2 damage damage per hit, and enemies are taking like 40 damage from thorns when they hit me. The only reason I'm attacking at all is because it gives me more thorns. Since my build only works if I let enemies hit me, I'll need defensive skills to keep me alive, and Iron Skin is incredible for this. It gives me a massive barrier if I use it when my health is low, and it can be upgraded to heal me for a lot of my missing health as well. I'm also using Challenging Shout to get damage reduction and taunt enemies into attacking me. One of the weird things about this challenge is that I found myself literally jumping into enemy attacks on purpose just to get my thorns to proc, especially against enemies that have area attacks that aren't actively tracking me and trying to hit me. As long as I knew I had enough health to take the hit, I'm pretty much just dashing into every attack I can to try and get the fight to finish sooner. I'm gonna upgrade my hammer. Oh, look at that. Plus three damage per second. Game changer. It's a good thing I upgraded my damage per second, because this next part of the game was awful. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I needed to change my build to somehow deal more damage with attacks, which is why we need to talk about this blue damage number. That was an overpower, which deals bonus damage based on my character's health. It happens 3% of the time, which can't be increased, but the Barbarian has a skill that can guarantee overpower attacks. I was having a pretty bad time trying to kill these structures, and there's some bosses that don't attack directly either, so it's time to transition my build so I can deal more direct damage, in addition to Thorn's damage. But first, let me out, let me out. Oh no, there's so many skeletons, I can't do any damage to these walls. Oh, this is awful. Okay. That's one way to get out. I got a switch in my head. I go from living to dead. You got me seeing all red. Now I'm becoming a threat. I'm going to need to change my build if I'm going to beat Astaroth. I'm just not doing enough damage. And he does so much damage that Thorns just is pathetic compared to how hard he's hitting me. I'm sure it could be done with Thorns, but I don't want to be the person who does it. I stopped doing quests and spent some time collecting Altars of Lilith so my character would have higher stats. I also added a socket to my hammer so I could slot a ruby into it and increase my overpower damage by 15%. Then I revamped my build so that it could give me a steady stream of overpower hits that I can use to take chunks out of the boss's health. Here's how it works. Whenever Bash, my basic attack, lands four critical strikes, my next ability is guaranteed to overpower. I made sure that I was getting a lot of critical strike chance from my gloves and rings so I could overpower more reliably. I also took the ability Death Blow because it has high base damage and can deal plus 100% damage to bosses. All right, I edited the fight to show all the overpower hits and I synced them up to music in a satisfying way, so I hope you like it. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by you.
Come on, land a crit. I just need one more crit. There it is. This will be your last stupid mistake. I went through most of the difficult boss fights without much trouble, but then I was faced with a wall. This wall, this obnoxious wall that's blocking my vision of the fight every time I run to the lower half of the arena. My build can't stand and fight very well, so I end up running a lot of laps, and this wall is so irritating. It's the biggest challenge I've come up against since I rebuilt my character for boss damage. I finally defeated the wall's minions, but I had no way to attack the wall directly. Or do I? I thought to myself, what do walls do? They obviously block vision, but they also block movement. Well, I'm going to strike back at walls by humiliating them with my forbidden technique. Yeah, take that stupid wall. Can't block me. I went and did the same thing to his friend over here before moving on with my adventure. This was a really uneventful fight. This thing does not attack things that are up right next to it. Uh, it's like barely ever hitting me with anything. It's really easy. Hey Lilith, how far can I get with a level one weapon? By the way, I forgot to mention this, but this is actually the first Diablo game I've ever played, and this is the first character I've ever played. So if you see anything that I did that could have been way more efficient, uh, let me know, because I, I literally don't know any better. This is, this is the first character I've ever played in any Diablo. For phase two, I'm including the entire fight at 500% speed. You can see in the top right, I started at 12, 21 AM. I actually had a lot of fun with this playthrough. So much fun that I ended up playing Diablo 4 for a week instead of editing the video. I took this exact build I'm using and adjusted it to be even better using Hammer of the Ancients instead of my taunt ability. And I was able to solo the capstone dungeon to get world tier four when I was level 65, I think. Maybe I could have done it sooner, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's way stronger builds to use, but I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm going to stick with it for a while longer. It's just really satisfying to be able to charge up for one massive hit of damage. If you enjoyed this video and want me to make more Diablo 4 content, please let me know in the comment section. If you hate the video and want to say something rude in the comments, I'd appreciate that too, because comments make the algorithm push my video so more people can see it. See you next time.